eTours.com Pro 2's 9 and 10 free class tutorials beginning, intermediate, and advanced color code tracks. Hey YouTube, it's Whitney Russell with DSHorns.com. Today's video is going to be uh, to color code your tracks. Alright, so I'll go ahead and open up a um, blank session or you can go to this template. Uh, open up your new session and go to this template. Just create session from template. Go ahead and hit hip hop. That's what I tend to use. Go ahead and hit OK. They'll ask you to change. Go ahead and say uh, save. They'll ask you to save it. They'll ask you if you want to replace it. Go ahead and say yes. Then it will come up. Now what we want to do is go to the I always like to be in the mix window. Hit your mix window and let's get the transport window out of there. We don't really need it right now. So hit that X and then we're going to make it big. Okay, so now this is what we're working with. And right now you see they already have um, they have it colored for you already. But let me show you how they do uh, how you want to color your color your tracks. The reason why you want to color your tracks is so that's why I wanted you to see is so that you can just um, like how they have right here, they got the audios all uh, color. Um, it just helps you recognize. Okay, this order is might be uh, rhythm or just all your drums. This might be your audio. This might be your click, your headphones, your master might be this color. All your greens might be your auxiliaries. So it helps you just really look at look at your mix. And uh, from the color code, you can tell what you're doing. Let me just go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, as we're looking at this right now, how you want to get to the color code, sometimes you not, might not be able to see it down there. Go over here to your right and just scroll down a little bit. And you can see down here at the bottom, it has the colors down here. So just double click on the colors. There you go. You have to kind of get it right on 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 the bar line double click it just keep trying to trying to get it and double click it and you'll get it and this is what you'll come up with okay this button right here tracks that's for uh, right now we're dealing with the color codes and tracks you can color code regions and tracks regions and uh, the regions list of groups and we'll go over those in our uh, intermediate color code tracks video saturation that's basically how uh, I'll just show you just just add in the color Okay, you probably want it all the way over. I always leave it like that. Brightness, if you want it bright, I like to darken it a little bit. Real dark, that's nice. If it gets real late, you need to brighten it up. I'll leave you just put it right there in half. All right, so now what you do is say if we want all of these four, like they got all of these four the same color, and you want to go ahead and hold your shift and highlight the ones you want to color and I'm gonna make those let's make those a yellow alright so you see how it changed the whole tracks okay so I can change these go down here um, do the same thing I wanna change these let's see them add the click I wanna do all of these let's make those was that pink I guess that's pink let's go pink all right, and last we'll do it one more time. Hold your shift, tap, and let's make those blue. All right, so there you go, and then you close that, and you have color coded your tracks. And like I said, like as you can see, that makes a, a really big uh, difference in showing you um, where what is where your instrument tracks are, your audio tracks, your rhythm. All that stuff. So that's, so that's basically color code your tracks. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to view my other uh, tutorials, beginning, intermediate, or advanced, please go to dshorns.com. If you need a horn section on your track, horn solos, piano chords, piano solos, or help mastering your track, contact me at facebook.com backslash ds.horns or at dishorns at yahoo.com and please make sure to send me a friend request on Facebook for Pro Tools updates and free plugins.